How is it going guys and welcome back to the channel. It feels like a very very long time since I made my last video and it has been the largest break or the longest break I guess I should say since I started my channel and I do want to apologize for that before we even get into this video to anyone out there that has watched my stuff in the past or has subscribed or whatever I do really want to apologize. I think it was just a combination of laziness as well as just a lot of stuff going on in my life to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'm back. Uh, we're going to be getting back to a actual normal uploading schedule. I know I've been uh, posting uh, the community posts as well as shorts, but I want to get back to actual like long form content that I enjoy uh, making. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about the 2025 Mustang GTD. I'm not going to go into a very uh, in-depth kind of look at the specs and the, you know, different things that make it so amazing. But more so, I'm just going to be looking at an article that's going to be linked down in the description below from hotcars.com as well as... Uh, I'm going to be having some B-roll play like as I just kind of talk about this car for a little bit. And I do just want to kind of voice my opinion on uh, the Mustang Ford specifically making a Mustang GT car available for sale to the public. A decent amount of manufacturers now have been doing this for quite some time and I just think that this is such a great idea. Now unfortunately for most of us normal people who do not have uh, $300,000 to drop on a Mustang, it doesn't really make that much difference to us. How, however, uh, for those uh, collectors out there who have a very, very deep interest in the brand of Ford as well as uh, maybe even deeper pockets, uh, this is a fantastic car that Ford is offering to the public. It's essentially just a GT car that's for sale. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, Porsche has done this in the past. Again, other brands have done this in the past, but uh, they take their like GT4, GT3, GT2 cars or GT Cup cars or whatever and uh, they just offer them for sale and they kind of just do what they have to do to make them street legal um, from a safety standpoint um, but pretty much they're just stripped down road legal race cars and with Ford going back to Le Mans I think next year I could be wrong either next year or 2025 I could, I could be wrong um, but with Ford kind of going back and actually going to be competing with this new 7th gen Mustang, the S650, I think that this is a phenomenal idea and it's something that is definitely going to uh, get at least a little bit of interest from people potentially that might not really been into Mustangs or Ford in general before. So anyways, uh, looking at this article here, just scrolling down to, I guess, the estimated price, uh, release date, and specs, it's going to be priced right around 300000 US dollars and have approximately 800 horsepower. Now, just from the uh, B-roll footage, you can tell immediately that it's supercharged. It actually, it feels, it sounds like it whines more than like a Hellcat, and Hellcats are kind of infamous for just screaming when it comes to their superchargers. Uh, but you can see that it does have a supercharged 5.2 a liter V8. I do not believe that it is the same flat plane crank uh, engine out of the GT uh, 350. However, I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments below. Again, I haven't honestly done a crazy amount of research on this car. I know this has been news for probably like about a week or two now, I feel like. And I'm just kind of doing this video as a brief kind of first look at it because I've posted a lot of Mustang content in the past. For those of you that do know, I do have a Mustang myself. So it's just something that I feel like I wanted to just make a video about. Now looking just at the body of the car, again, there's going to be so much carbon fiber just everywhere. You can see the carbon fiber in those kind of vents on the front fender there. Uh, I'm sure the entire like undercarriage is all gonna be carbon fiber. This ridiculous wing is functional. It's been ran through wind tunnel, I don't know how many times. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a GT car, so this is directly from Ford Racing. It's not like some kind of thing that Ford is just slapping on there. Kind of like the um, like Civic Type R's, like the last generation of the Civic Type R's. It's not like some just cheap wing that's just slapped on there. That is functional. Um, the same thing with the little like kind of front splitter right there. I do like how on all the GT cars, 
I, I, I don't know if it's on all of them, but I feel like on the majority of them, they do have that kind of yellowish tint to the uh, headlights. And also you can see right here that this uh, GT3 racer, that's actually going to be the uh, actual class that this car is going to be com competing in when it comes to endurance races. Um, but it's based on the 2024 um, Mustang Dark Horse. So this paint color is going to be the exact same paint color as the Dark Horse. And I remember seeing the Dark Horse actually in person a uh, few months back at the uh, New York Auto Show. And the color kind of looks bland on a computer screen or on images. I don't know how it's going to come out for some of my footage that I have of it. Um, but in person, it looks amazing. It's like got this kind of like purplish hue to it, bluish tints here and there, but it does have that kind of overlying dark gray, or like underlying really dark gray that really makes it look very, very menacing. So if this is gonna be essentially the same exact body color as the Dark Horse, I think that is a really, really badass detail because I mean, the normal GT3 cars, like the cars that are gonna be competing are gonna have basically just wraps all over them. They're gonna have sponsorships here, there, whatever. Uh, so if it's gonna be road legal and if it's gonna come like this, I think that is really, really wild. The wheel design, I'm not a huge fan of just the overall look of it. But again, this is a GT car at heart, so I'm sure they're very wide wheels with very wide rubber on them, and they're probably extremely lightweight. They're probably either aluminum or carbon fiber or something that makes them extremely lightweight. And the wheels themselves are probably, they're probably forged wheels that are probably not like your typical cast wheels, I guess, um, that you might see on just, you know, the normal Mustang. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I did also just want to kind of mention this little commercial that Ford made. Now, I guess I'll play it a little bit. I'm just going to skip forward to the kind of part where they talk about the heritage in the car. Um, but I don't want to play too much because I don't want to get copyrighted. And at the end of the day, it is just a commercial. So this is just Ford, you know, with their kind of sales pitch of the car. But I do like how they at least kind of subtly, or not, not so subtly, but they do mention the racing history behind Ford and specifically the Ford Mustang. And obviously it's been very involved for many years with NASCAR, uh, but now that Ford is kind of stepping back into um, you know international endurance racing, I personally like this class of racing more than NASCAR or even Formula One. I honestly don't really like watching Formula One that much, especially this season where it's kind of not a, been that competitive at all. Um, but yeah, I love, uh, endurance racing and specifically you know the gt kind of racing so i'm really really thrilled that uh you know the mustang is actual ford racing is getting the mustang back into it because it was really neat and freaking amazing when they uh made the uh gt back in i think 2016 and went ahead and won that le mans after so many years of being away from it but i think it's really kind of cool that they're uh kind of out going out there and displaying a more quote unquote attainable car, uh, just like how Chevy Racing did with the Corvette, uh, I think C8R or C7R even. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions of Ford offering this Mustang GTD uh, to the public for sale down in the comments below. And if you could have the, like if you had the money, to, if you had 300 grand to drop on a Mustang, would you do it or would you get like a typical like supercar like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something else? Because I'm a huge Mustang fan, but if I had 300 grand on a car, I'm probably not getting the Mustang GTD. I'm gonna be honest with you, even though it's again, incredibly badass car and really cool that Ford is doing this. Uh, that's just my opinion. But let me know down in the comments below while you're down there. Definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff really does help me out a lot. I also do want to say, I didn't say this at the beginning, but since the last time I've uploaded, we've hit a million views, total views on the channel, and we've also hit over 4,000 subscribers. So I really want to thank you guys so much uh, for all that support. It does mean the world to me. But like always, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.